Let's try this again. We are going to do a long tail cast on. And it's called a long tail cast on because you leave a long tail and work with that long tail and the working yarn to create your cast on stitches. We're only casting on three stitches, so we don't need a very, very long tail. So that's enough right there. Do a slip knot. And if you were ever a kid with a slingshot, this part should look familiar. Scoop up. Scoop up and through. Scoop up and through. Scoop up. Oops. Scoop up and through. And now you have five stitches on your hook. Don't worry, we can tighten that up later. Your working yarn should always be on this side of you, on your left side, if that's your less dominant hand. Whatever uh, working yarn you're using, keep it in front of you so you don't get tangled. And the first thing you're going to do is learn how to just stitch. This is the knit stitch. Very simply. I'm splitting the yarn, but you can still see it. The stitch has two legs. This one facing you and the one on the back. For a knit stitch, you go in through the right leg, put the yarn over, scoop up, take the stitch off. Put the needle through the right leg, Scoop up and through, take the stitch off. Put the needle through the right leg, which sounds kind of violent. Scoop up and take the stitch off. And you've done row one of your project. There are two ways, at least, to increase the amount of stitches that are on your needle. The first and easiest is to yarn over. So if I want to go from five stitches to six stitches, I knit my stitch, yarn over, and then knit the rest. I'm knitting air. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. That yarn over isn't a complete stitch and it's very easy to drop it if you're not careful. So when you get across, work back across your stitches be very careful of the yarn over. It's not like the other stitches that are a complete loop over your needle. It's just kind of hanging out, right? Kind of half stitch. The second way to create a stitch is to do what's called the KFB, the knit front and back. So you knit like you normally would, but you don't take the stitch off the hook. It's not complete until you go back into the stitch to the back leg and scoop again 
and get another stitch out of it. So now one stitch becomes two stitches. So we're going to do that again. Go in as if you're going to knit. Complete that first knit without dropping the stitch off the needle. Go back into the back leg. Scoop. Knee and scooping air. Scoop. And now you have where there were only two stitches. Now there's four. That's the KFB, the knit, front and back. Between the two, knit front and back and yarn over, it's a personal preference. It also depends on the pattern and what you're trying to accomplish. The KFB doesn't create that big gap where the yarn over does. Later on, you'll learn about make one um, right and make one left. That's also another way to create increases but we won't do that right now. These are the two basic ways to increase a stitch.